Hey family, I just had to make this video. You guys have got to see this. Pope Francis has a passive aggressive message for all Christians. You know, this is just the audacity of all aud audacities. Okay, so let's get into this article and see what he's talking about. It says, this was written May the 12th of 2022. Pope Francis says to the faith communities, either we go together, all the fraternal denominations, or we do not go at all, period. Okay, so what's his problem? What's his problem? I want to get into this article um, and, and let's see what his issues is. Okay, so it says on May 6th, on May 6, 2022, Pope Francis spoke to the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity. This is the Vatican-led organization task with uniting the different churches in accordance with the Second Vatican Council. The Pope invoked the COVID ep epidemic to justify changing our views on un unity and the necessity to create a global fraternity among the different faiths. Okay, this is what he said, y'all. He said, a first significant economical, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, result of the pandemic has been a renewed awareness of belonging to one Christian family, an awareness rooted in the experience of sharing the same fragility and of being able to trust only in the help that comes from God. Paradoxically, the pandemic which forced us to keep a distance from each other has made us understand how close to each other we are in reality and how we are responsible for each other. It is fundamental to continue to cultivate this awareness and to give rise to incentivize that make explicit a nurture and nurture this spirit of fraternity. Then the Pope Francis, then Pope Francis said that you can't stay with your own denomination. You must connect with other faiths. Okay. It says, this is what I really want y'all to concentrate on. It says, and on this issue, this is the Pope saying, this is in quotation marks. This is a quote. And on this issue, I would like to emphasize that today for a Christian, it is not possible or practical, practicable to go along with one's own denomination. And y'all just can't do that. It don't even make sense. He's saying, he said, either we go together, all the fraternal denominations, or we don't go ahead at all. <laughs> I'm like, all right, fine. That's passive aggressive one on one. When you are trying to bully someone to get your way to do something that you don't want to do, you issue an ultimatum like that. Either it's my way or the highway. Either we're going to all do this together or we're not doing it at all, period. And so I'm like, then we're not doing it, period. I'm not doing it, period. So you can get mad all you want to. You can issue this ultimatum. But he's saying, Christians, it is impractical for us to stay within our denomination. No, we need to come join the one world order church where they're all together into one. Because what we're doing is being Christians, you know, praying to Yahweh, keeping the faith, living according to the word. That's just impractical. That's impractical. You need to come and join all of us together. Either we're going to go together or we're not going at all, period. And I'm like, okay. Then I guess we ain't going. Because, hey, who not joining that is me. I'm praying to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one true living God, the creator of all things, the father of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm not praying and I'm not joining no denomination of pagan deities, no one world religion. I will not be a part of that. This is narcissism, passive aggressive, one-on-one, -on -one, period. That's just like you getting ready to take a trip with somebody. You want to use your car because it's a little bit bigger for everybody to fit in it. And you already got your phone set up to it. The other person, not only if they decided to bring an extra person that wasn't even supposed to be on the trip, but then they give you an ultimatum. Well, 
my baby car seat is in this car. And uh, if we don't go in my car, we ain't going, period. <laughs> then you, now you're forced to make a decision. Either you're going to let this person bully you to do something that you really don't want to do just for the sake of getting along, or you're going to stand your ground and be like, then we're not going. We're not going because I'm not going to be crumped up in your car just to keep the peace for however long this trip is when clearly my car is bigger and already you have bought an extra person. So that that whole passive aggressive talking at somebody, that really just that really just gets Oh my, that grinds my gears. I don't like it. He said, either we going to go together and we going to all do this one world religion or we ain't doing it at all because of you Christians. Okay, let's keep getting into this. He says, um, he says, today the awareness of echinism is such that one cannot think of journeying on the path of faith without the company of brother and sisters from other churches of ecclesial communities and this is a great thing alone never we cannot do it he said indeed it is easy to forget this profound truth when it happens to christian communities it exposes us to the serious risk of the presumption of self-sufficiency and self-refer refer whatever that is which are a grave obstacle in echinism, echinism, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not good at pronouncing these. It says, and we see this in some, in some countries, there are certain ecocentric revivals. Okay, so now he's talking about a Christian evangelizing, and he don't like it. So he said, we see this in some countries, there are certain egocentric revivals, so to speak, of certain Christian communities that either go backwards or cannot advance. Today, either we all walk together or we do not walk. This awareness is a truth and a grace from God. So even the dude that wrote this article, he even took issue with that. He said in this statement, Pope Francis ev 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 elevates all churches to the same level. According to the Pope, all Christian faiths and are members of the same family. He went on to say that embracing this awareness is a truth and grace from God. Truth, this sounds like heresy rather than truth. There's nothing wrong with attempting to live in peace and harmony with others, but the Pope's global fraternity is dedicated to stripping Christianity of its distinctiveness from biblical truth. This is the post saying there are many ways to get to God. The, 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 the one Jesus is just not the only way. You can get to God through Vishnu, Shiva, all of these. So let's go back to this picture. This is what he wants. He wants us to all coexist. So let me tell you what you're looking at. This we know, that's the Christian cross. We know this is for the Muslims, the, 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 you know, the UAE. We know that this is for the Jewish people. We know this is for the Hindus, the Shivas, and the Vishnus, and the Brahmas. And we know this is for the, the Buddha, for the Chinese, and all of that. We know this is for Allah. And I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that one is for. But these are all pagan deities that he want us to join with this one world religion which is set to open um it's set to open this year it's set to open this year and then look at look at this it says look to go to the uh let's go to the second um down here it says, and on this issue, I would like to emphasize that today for a Christian, it is not possible or practical practical to go along with one's own denomination. He like, either we go together, all the fraternity dominations, or we do not go ahead at all. All right. So yeah, I forgot. We, I forgot. I turned the page back. Yeah. I'm with that. Not going together at all part. So this is what he wants. This is what he have been working on for the last couple of years. He have been working on this whole Chrislam, this whole Abrahamic house thing, this one world religion, which is headquarters uh, in Abu Dhabi, and is set to open this year. 
And he even went as far as naming one of the churches after himself, named the other church after the, the grand imam from uh, the UAE and after uh, another man. This is not about God. This is about them. This is about them. This is about the little horn doing what he always do best, changing times and laws. This is about the little horn and, and, and the church, the, 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 the Catholic church exercising her power, quote unquote, as she says, to do what they want to do. So no, no, I'm not going along with that. Like, okay, that was like a, a passive aggressive threat that he said right there. Either we're going to do this together or we ain't doing it at all. And period, that's kind of like a mic drop. Okay, fine. Then we ain't doing it. So listen, y'all, this church is set to open this year. This year, this one world religion for the new world order is set to open this year. The Catholic Muslim Interfaith Council created by Pope Francis, do you hear who created it? The Little Horn, announces new Chrislam headquarters opening in 2022 that combines a mosque and a church according to the sign Covenant. They have made a covenant. They have made a covenant for a one world religion. And this is already built up, people. They it's ready to go. Like it's ready to go. They ready to open this like this year, like any moment now. And this is just giving you a little bit of information about this. If you want to go ahead and pull it up. If you want to go ahead and pull it up, but I'm going to take you to the next part. What I thought was very interesting. Look, I want to show you what, how they have named these churches after themselves. So it says shirt values, the Abrahamic family house designed by architect, Sir David 